Yeah, I love how quick that loads back in. All right. Whoops. Sorry about that. I always forget about the little bar that hangs underneath my mic, and I end up bumping it. So yeah, we made it back to Thread. Uh, we need to head up to the cemetery and get in Jeff's... Whatever it's called. Sky Rider, Sky Flyer, Machine that he wrote in earlier. So we can go to Summers. I don't think there's anything new to buy here, so let's just go. Where did it crash again? There it is. Can we just jump down? No, we have to walk down. Hey guys, we painted over the damaged parts of the Sky Runner. There we go. Now I wonder how you start this thing up. I want you to stay, but if you can't, so long. Thanks for every little old thing. Jeff knows how to use it. Hang on for a second or two. There, that should do it. Now if we board, the Sky Runner will take us back to Winters. Dr. Endonut's help, I can modify the machine to fly to Summers. If Dad, I mean Dr. Endonuts, is not available, I have to figure it out by myself. Let's go back to Winters. Go, machine, go! So it just, like, automatically flies to preset areas, you don't control it, and it only knows how to go to Winters or here? I guess... So we get another little scene of flying all the way back. Such so like a just a sphere. It's just a sphere. A sphere with legs. Oh, was that a present we missed in the desert? Or no, this is another area. Okay. Yeah. For a second, I thought we had missed something important. There's a lot of, like, long scenes in this game that you just have to sit back and watch. Whether it be the Runaway 5 performing or the flights with the, uh, Skyrunner. So, yeah, we should have, uh, some tough enemies coming up. Which didn't go so well last time. Can't go much worse. Hey, monkeys. Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh, yes, we finally tied the knot. Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. Oh, you passed by a cave north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? Can't seem to stop thinking about it. Go see what's there. We're going to get out of here. We're still newlyweds, you know. A lot of monkeys in Earthbound. I'm trying to talk to Doctor. You surprised me. You're a nurse, aren't you? Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. The Bubble Monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call the area Rainy Circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh, I understand. While you're checking out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. My co-worker, Bigfoot, dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. Ooga booga. May I help you? What would you like? Beef jerky. Bottle of DX water. Secret herbs. We can buy them now. That's nice. Uh, what's our inventory look like? Ness is full up. 
Paula has two, and Jeff's all full up. Jeez. That's equipable, isn't it? Protects you from fire attacks. Uh, sure. Because he just has the trout. No, Ness has travel charm. Which doesn't do much. I think that just stops from paralyze. Paula. Yeah. Hold on here. Let's shift stuff around. Uh, give to Paula, give to Ness, and give Broken Tube to Jeff. Should probably call Escargar Express and turn some stuff in. Flame Pendant. I don't think we ever checked upstairs before. Broken pipe. I think I have two of those now. We have broken pipe and a broken tube. We'll have to rest up and see if we can fix those. Kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. Okay, yeah. Stonehenge, we talked to you long ago. Yeah, I should be able to handle these guys way better. Oh, but that's a lot, though. Two cave boys and a mighty bear seven. Hmm. Let's see what this does. Bear. And shoot the bear. Okay, one HP. Okay, not too bad. Really not that bad. I can just beat him. That's not good, though. Please stop doing that. Okay, nothing to worry about with those guys. They're just big, so they're intimidating. Level 42. Offense up by 3. HP up by 2. Uh, this is the cave, I believe. I believe it's just, like, right in here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we're all good. Let's do it. We finally got here. This is the fourth your sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. It's Shroom! Good old Shroom! Okay. Uh... Let's try to blind him, I guess. Start off with that. I don't know what would be best to use against him, though. Do -do 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 -do. Boost Jeff. And... Yeah. That's a freaky mush. Yeah, he is. I don't really like him. I don't, I don't like looking at him, that is. It didn't work. Oh, he's mushed. He's mushed us. 91 damage. Ooh. All right, let's just try to beat him down. Uh, I would assume fire would be the best thing to hit him with. But we have a better freeze. Let's try this. Let's see what he thinks about ice. That's not bad. 200. Oh, he can heal, though. Two hundred and six. Okay. Okay. 
Mm. Yeah, just keep doing that, I guess. Um, let's try this. See what he thinks of Thunder. Thunder has a good chance of just missing, though. Yeah. 97. But if they both hit, that'd be pretty good. Paula's poisoned. We need to take care of that. Healing Paula. I'll try fire. Probably not that much since it's made to hit multiple. Try the HP sucker. Ooh, yeah, fire's the way to go. If it keeps doing that. Oh no, we're all getting mushed. Let's see if fire's consistent damage. At least he's not just healing every other turn. Oh, Paula. Paula, no. I can't believe that. It hit zero there. That was so close. I really need Paula not to go down. She's the only one that's got no shroom on her head right now. She's dealing the most damage too with fire. Ooh, okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. More fire. Jeff, defend this time. You're hitting everyone. Two forty-eight. There we go. Shroom down. That wasn't too bad. It got close. Thirty-two thousand each. Level forty-three. Paula's level 33. And level 34. And Jeff 37. With his awful levels that he's been getting. Oh god, we're mushroomed. <laughs> uh, Yeah, that went extremely well. I love how peaceful all the sanctuary locations are. It's just calming, especially after a big fight like that. And they heal you. Ness caught a whiff of pizza, but just for a second. According to the melody of the rainy circle. It just rains in this one circle. Let's check it out. We're getting there. Yeah. The gaps between them are pretty big. After the first two. Strong crocodile. Just beat him. He looks strong. How much are you worth? 3,000, that's not bad for a single crocodile. Okay. <laughs> Guess we go back to Doctor and Donuts now. Phone. Let's call mom. Don't say a word. I know exactly what you're thinking. My son, who thought he was such a brave kid. You're a hero. Click. Instant revitalizing device. In only a few seconds, it will fully revitalize you, just like a good night's sleep. Nice. 
Good to go. Looks like you found something out. I finished remodeling the Skyrunner. You can leave for summers whenever you wish. Shouldn't break this time. Maybe. Time to fly to Summers. Close to getting our uh, fourth party member. And final. Fourth and final party member, that is. No problem here. So this is uh this is Summers. It's a nice big beach. Hotel, food, shop, hospital, shop. Guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. Wake up in the morning, fall in love. Eat lunch, fall in love. And at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. Alright, dude. Take it back a notch. Don't talk to me. My mind is a complete blank. Okay. Are you from Eagle Land? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. You should travel across the sea. It's from Skoreba, from Toto, the to port town. Got some really spectacular things. What would you like? Uh, Paula can take it. No. What's the stats on that? Ice cream that is all the rage with fashionable young woman. When eaten, you recover about 30 HP. Bird! It's a minor bird. Are you from Eagleland? If you like adventure. Okay. Oh, hey, Flays. Yep, we just got to Summers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's check out the shop. How annoying. Why are you wandering around? Summers is a posh resort made for adults. There's a big monster living in the sea between here and Scaraba. I've seen a picture of it. Okay, what do you got? Ooh, big league bat, chef's fry pan, lucky coin. Wow, that's good for everyone. Gold bracelet, platinum band, diamond band, and super plush bear. That's expensive. That's big expensive. All right, we need 3,000 for a better bat. Oof. Let's see how much we have, I guess. <laughs> this isn't a place for lucky lose. Also, we can sell shit. Sell. So. Um, do, 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 So, uh, we can get rid of this. We're not going to use the bug spray. It's been sitting there forever. Same thing with the rust promoter. It's just taking up room. Mm, 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 mm. Handbag strap. That's nicer. Jeff, have anything? Not really. He's kind of full of stuff. We have so many good recovery items. I should probably put some in because we don't need them all. But.
48 grand. All right, let's just buy what we can and then deposit. Probably the best thing to do. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. Big League Bat. Equip 123 to 131. Not a huge difference, but it's something. More accuracy probably, though. Get a diamond band. Paula can have it. 82 to 102. Wow, that's super worth it. That's so worth it. Jeff has no room. 114 to 134. Uh, I'll sell this. Buy another diamond band. We'll make the money back. Jeff can have that one and equip it. 118 to 128. Lucky coin's good too. I don't want to spend too much just yet, though, just in case. Deposit. There. Mm -mm. Oh, God, I wasn't paying attention. A crazed sign. All right. Let's beat up the speed limit sign. Yeah, speed limit of 40. That's crazy. I don't know how tough you are, but you can't be that tough. Yeah. Jeff's paralyzed, though, which sucks. Hotel. We're on the way to the hospital. We'll stop in there and deal with that. Museum. Check out the cultural museum. It may be helpful. They have a hieroglyph from a pyramid. Hint. Now, wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for just 150 bucks. Yeah, sure. Let's just, let's hear him out. You need to make a reservation by phone to go to Stoic Club. Someone in Toto, the port town next to Summers, should know the phone number. That's it for today. Summers always has sunny days. Uh, where's Doctor. Nope. I must have been on the first floor. Or no, I need the blue hair dude. The funky dude. Yeah, for paralysis. Restore feeling. 110 bucks. Jeff needs it. Perfect. East of here is the port town. No, I'm not a billboard. If you go to Scariba, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? A lot of people to talk to. Across the sea, there's a town called Scariba. It's a mysterious town. It's my dream town. Okay. If you'd be heading to Scraba, you ought to shop here. Things expensive down there. What do you got? Bottle of water. Nothing I really want. Uh, might as well check all the buildings. 
I'm a grave robber. I was scared of the pyramid, so I didn't go in. But I tell people that I saw mummy-type monsters with my very own eyes. At least he's kind of honest. Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I warn you, though, it's a strange place. Thanks, dude. Jeff, oh, happy day. Finally got a hold of you. It's me, Tony. Collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players like you. The one holding the controller. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Bam. Thanks, game player. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is this correct? Apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. Talk to you later. Hope that I can see you again if you're feeling up to it. From Tony. Been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care so long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Would you like a boat ride? Yeah. I don't feel like sending a ship out. I'm worried about my wife. Not afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring her magic cake business. These days she spends time hanging out at a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interest to discuss. Is our relationship over? Poor dude. Meow. Meow. Dinosaurs existed. I saw one. It had been out of the underground when it dried out. Of course it was dead. Believe what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I believe that dinosaurs exist. That's a thing. Bow. Now, brown cow. If you come closer, I'll play the trumpet. Uh, I don't know how to play yet. So many people play brass instruments in this game. The shop was not this one. The shop was the next one over. There's so many cats. Let me through. Stoic Club. Yes, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We look forward to having you here. Thank you. Easy as that. So off to the club we go. Oh god. I was trying to avoid the car and I didn't notice the sign. Okay, 28's not that bad. Taxis aren't that bad at this point. Paralysis sucks. Okay. Yeah, don't hit me with paralysis, please. I was gonna take a sip of my drink, but I can't now. Oh, she's dead. Well, that's where we are. Poor Paula. Oh well, at least we're coming back by the hospital. That sucks. So I took the suggestion and actually got a top to uh container for my drink this time I don't know why I didn't think of that as simple of a thing as that is I also went with a nice chai tea tonight oh no oh Jeff
species. Do nothing. Jeff's just stuck there. This is rough. Well... We're both just para- two of us paralyzed, one of us dead. But we still won. Uh, hospital was back that way. There's so many cars now. Excuse me. I just don't notice the signs. They just blend into the scenery for me. At least the cars are big and yellow. Hospital. I think I saw a butterfly down there. A little late now. You do... Restore feeling to Jeff. And Paula. Good thing we had enough cash on us. Okay. <laughs> Just walked out of the door into a fight. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the sign so he doesn't ruin our day again. Nice. Taxi, I'm not too worried about. He can hurt, but I'd rather just take damage than get paralyzed again. Decent amount of experience, too. And crying ends after the fight, so that's no big deal. Get in there! Okay, that's the museum. That's not where I want to be, but it saved us from a fight. Club Stoic. Didactically speak speaking, seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your reputation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. This I am irrefutably confident. Thanks, dude. Finally awaken the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My id is telling me. Show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on the stage and philosophizes. Doesn't it sound stupid? Really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. She's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony in study of self-identification is blah blah blah. Don't know what to do. You don't understand what the hey everyone's talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with the customers. I pay high prices just for a glass of water and the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. It's easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry. I was sleeping. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism. Incredible. <laughs> Who boy. Whoops, didn't mean to leave. How timeless.
Magic cake? Came all this way to eat my magic cake? Of course. I see. Okay. Why don't you stop uh, by a little cart out on the beach later? Nice. Back to the beach. Oh yeah, I'll fight you. I'll fight whoever you are. Tough guy. <laughs> Look at him. Alright, let's take out this tough guy. Came out swinging. Oh, that's nothing. Dude, we beat Shroom earlier. You think you got a chance, tough guy? Very 90s tough guy, yeah. Very kind of like, uh... Makes me think of like the, uh, the Biff. Just good old Biff. Okay, where is the cart? I don't know. Somewhere. Hey, dude. Only a tanning pro like me is able to act, get an actual suntan in the palms of his hands. Are you just, you're just laying out in the sun like palm up to tan your palms? That sounds awful. No thanks. Yeah, suntan palms. Uh, I'll pass. I'm awful at tanning. I always just fall asleep on the beach and then burn. So I'm not, I'm not a fan of the, the sea, but I like the beach because I just like to sleep on the sand. Overzealous cop. Sure, let's beat him. There we go. Turn back to normal. Got to find that cake. I'm just trying to take a nap in the shade. Don't bother me. Jeez. People are rude. Restaurant. Let's check it out. We hadn't gone in here. Oh yeah, isn't there a picture in here? Somewhere? Oh sorry, I can't quite describe it. Drinking glass after glass of iced coffee as well. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, sure, iced coffee. I can't stand iced coffee. Pictures taken instantaneously at my photographic genius. Get ready for an instant memory. Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Bring back the fondest memories. You love iced coffee? I just can't do it. I also don't like, like, a lot of stuff in my coffee. Like, I don't go to, like, Starbucks and get coffees and stuff. I'll get, like, a like a chai latte. That's what... If I ever go to Starbucks, that's usually what I go for. Just a plain chai latte. Alright, I don't want to deal with these... These signs hanging out. I guess I am more of a tea person than a coffee person as well. Hey, hey, stop putting your grimy fingerprints all over my car, you little punk. Yeah, tea is great. There's so many kinds of tea. I have a handful of different kinds of tea in my cabinet. And I'm getting hooked on drinking them again. Mm 
Oh, damn it. Like, I'm enjoying this nice chai, spiced chai tonight. I drink a lot of just, like, plain herbal teas or green tea. Level 35. Yeah, if nothing else, we're getting some good levels here. I like fruit teas. Like a good, like, mango or citrus type tea. Out of the way, dude. Yeah, worried about your wife. Where is she? I know she went out, and I just... I probably walked everywhere but right, right where she is. Said she was going out on the beach. Butterfly! this guy. I don't like him. He only had the ice cream, right? Yeah, I don't want that. Hmm. I'm zigzagging, hoping to run into it. Hey, dude. Wonder why such serious-looking kids as you come to this resort town. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere. Well. Don't know. Oh, there she is. Jesus. Everywhere but. Thought magic making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I use all leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. Ness had a dream. It was a very clear, very strange dream. Yeah, here comes our last party member. Dalam in the Far East. The Palace of Pooh, the Crown Prince. Prince Pooh, the time has come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I'm praying for your success in the final stage of your training. So yeah, we are now Pooh, as we all are all meant to be. Wow! Cup of life noodles. Good old poo. Brainstone. Must have the tiny ruby. An old treasure from Delam. Bottle of water. Brainstone. Stone that enable enables. Yes, enables you. Enables you to concentrate without using your own brain. This is accompanied by uh, just keeping this item. It's great, because if you can't concentrate, you can't use Psy. Is that you, Ness? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? It's not a big deal. Suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. So, call Ness's dad and save. Boop.
Prince Poo, you're my favorite. Poo kind of stands out from the rest of the party. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Like you have Nespal and Jeff who are just kids just in normal towns. And then there's Poo. Prince Pooh, I'm surprised you're not in training. Seems like that's all you do these days. Take some time to play with me. I'm so lonely without you. I'm steal your stuff, dude. Bottle of water. That's just health, isn't it? Oh, no. Maybe slightly increases. Ooh. Hmm. Do I want to go ahead and use that, or do I want to save that to use? On someone else. Just roasted some garlic and ate it. So the room still stinks. You just like. Just ate garlic. I mean sure. If that's what you want. I can't imagine just eating. Just plain roasted garlic. Like, like a whole like. Clove. Jar of deli sauce. Deli sauce. Yeah. Condiment. Restaurant. We accept dollars. As a strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. This is Moot, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Mu, you'll pass through. Mu is Mu. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Pooh. Long ago, I completed Mu training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. Alright, back to his own planet, I guess. I'm a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you you must stop your meditation immediately. You must come back with me instead of staying in this place such as this. Please rise, prince. You must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. Hey, maybe it's not. Maybe we just ignore that. Ignore them. This part's kind of weird and off-putting. I, I forgot how weird it was. So I think you can leave there and it will just, like, fail. Uh, Prince Pooh, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Yeah, sure, go ahead. That's cool. So, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Yeah, why not? Ah, Prince Pooh, without arms and legs, you can only lie there. Now, I will cut your ears off. Do not mind my taking your hearing. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? I can't really stop you. So Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, now I can only co communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. 
Though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? You can't answer? You can't even move? Are you sad? Lonely? If you lose your mind, you will also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind. Know that I will possess it. Prince Boo, you've completed your training. Old Master must be so pleased. Yeah, don't worry about that. We're all good. Everything's fine. Yeah, that's rough. Like, that's that hits hard if you were just like a kid in the 90s that just got earthbound because of the, you, you thought the, the funny stink ads with stinky scratch and sniff stickers were funny so you got your parents to buy you earthbound and then you get to this and it's like i'm gonna take your arms i'm gonna take everything you're just gonna be a husk that's awful i'm proud you've completed your moo training there's nothing more to teach you from the holy writings Prince Pooh, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Ness is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Pooh. Now that you completed your training, search out Ness at once. For all beings, for the earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Pooh's level 16! Oh, baby, offense up by six. Defense by two, speed by two. HP by eight. Pooh realized the power of shield, beta. Pooh's level 17. Teleport. Pooh's level 18. HP by one. Pooh's got teleport, beta. Oh, I forgot how quick it was between you getting teleport and the next teleport. Yes, Pooh. My name is Pooh. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Ness. I will obey Ness. Ness, my life in your hands. Sure. He just shows up out of nowhere. Pooh has joined us. So yeah, we got the full party now. Level 43, 35, 37, and 18. Oof. But even at level 18, he's got a lot of health and, like, a decent amount of psychic points. So he's got water. Ugh. Who should drink the water? Yeah, Ness ate some cake and then a martial artist appeared in front of him. Because... Psychic points slightly increase. Who do we want to have more psychic points? That's the thing. Because Ness... Like, we like using Sness. That's good. And healing is good. Pooh has Freeze and Thunder, Life Up and Healing, and Shield, and Teleport. Hmm. We have two of them. Oh, it recovers one PP. It doesn't go up. Okay. Well, never mind. Well, shit. The wording of that confused me. Unless it did actually go up. Whatever. That's fine. Um, where's the hotel? Let's go rest to recover everything. How much cash do we have? We have enough cash. Do, 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 do. We haven't gone in this hotel, so. Oh, hey! Good thing we decided. 
Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. Instant memory. Look at the camera. Say, fuzzy pickles. Fondest memories. Okay. Let's take a sleep. Le Hotel de Summers. Risosha Richemont. 600 bucks. That's a lot. You know what would be a good idea? Is to just teleport somewhere that's cheaper. Uh, let's go to Saturn Valley where it's free. Uh, is this house? Because why not? We have stuff that can be fixed, so I'm going to sleep a couple times to see if anything gets fixed. Uh, and hopefully it will. Yeah, give it one more. Because we have... Uh, broken tube. Broken machine. We have a broken pipe as well. Be nice if one of those would fix. Whether it's use useful or not, I just want to get something. I assume we're smart enough to at least fix one of them. If we don't get it this time, then whatever. We'll just continue onward. Alright, back to Summers. You have to make sure not to bump into anything when you're doing that. Hey, Wilkes. How you doing? Do, do. To the museum. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I didn't realize we already been playing for about an hour. Should know better. Can I get in without paying admission? It's three dollars per person. Sure. Ask someone inside for more detailed information. Mumble mumble. Why would Mr. Spoon from the Forestside Museum try to call me? Best he, bet he just wants to brag. Let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. I dare him to try and upstage me. Oh, pardon me. I was just talking to myself. Ooh. Saw a chubby kid your age here. He looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. You were making food and doing dishes. Any interesting food? Oh, the samurai kid is here. Will he be giving me that gem? Sure. I had a, just a boring dinner tonight. We just did like turkey burgers. Shattered man. Not a mummy by any me many means. Okay. Oh yeah, we got Pooh now, so we gotta use him some. Yeah, we have mirror ability. Yeah, Pooh doesn't have a lot of PP, so I'm going to wait on that.
Then some bear mundi. I never had any of that type of fish until uh, I started getting hella fresh, and it was it's good usually. All right, hold up. Uh, Ness, heal Paula. Okay, it's just one of them, and we got four of us, so this shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Oh, God, was that 11,000 each? Mummy wrap. Offense up by three. Vitality by three. Luck by three. HP by 41. Ness, you have so much HP. Jeff got to level up offense up by one. Defense up by one. Wow, that's pretty good for Jeff. Pooh's level 19. Oh yeah, Pooh probably just got a shit ton of levels. If he just got that much. Pooh's level 20. I'm just going to roll through this. Oh god, look at all these O-babies. Pooh's level 21. Got Magnet. Pooh just got third three levels. Hold on. Uh, life up. Paula. There we go. Let's fight the other one. This will catch Pooh up quick. Freeze seemed to do a good amount of damage to him. Oh, Pooh. Kill him. Kill him, Pooh. Nice. 11,000. More mummy wrap. Paula got level. HP up by 6. Pooh's level 22. And 23. Pooh read the hieroglyphs. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. Our efforts were futile, and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramids were... Our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. Place out of time is beyond the dark and is even further beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Four, three, two, five. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Let's go. Pyramid's the key. Experience is more valuable than a small gem. The other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I got lots of money from him. Wait one second, here's a picture of the hieroglyphs, just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. Use it in your human civilization class. Nice. What's this? Hello, this is Mr. Fork of the Scarva uh, Cultural Museum. Doesn't sound like you. I'll quickly tell you my story, because I'm busy, busy, busy. Found something so extraordinary that mere words cannot do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon, from the Forsyth Museum of Natural History. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating. This fine. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. Hmm. What could that be? Um, hmm. So, we can go to Foresight and check that out. Or we could take the boat across, I guess. Ba -ba -dum -bum. I don't know what would be better at the moment. Should probably heal a little bit, regardless.
I guess we'll go back to Foreside and do the museum there. Let's get to a good spot to teleport. Uh, boom. Teleport. Foreside. Now, where was the museum? I think it was down this way. Bup, bup. It's been a lot of time in Foreside. Dinosaur Museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. Sure, everyone knows that. If you still want to go see the dinosaurs, pay $5 a piece. Find an academic researcher inside. That's a big dinosaur. Museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. It should. It's a it's a crime that it's not. Huge, not you. I'm talking about the dinosaur. Wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a real live dinosaur sometime in my life. You want to know something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. If you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. Sure. Why did you default to eraser, though? That's so specific. theater is down this way. Yeah, there it is. Right here. I buy a ticket. Good thing we're carrying around some cash. Oh yeah, what does Mummy Rap do? Enemy will take some damage and stop moving. I should probably just sell that. Show ticket. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, that's just the owner. Got another show to watch. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. You cute, sexy thing, you baby, sing to me. Venus. This is the fourth show we've watched. It's quite sparkly. Not much to add on top of this. It's just, this is what it is. So with, uh, the other Super Nintendo games I was planning on playing after Earthbound. Yeah, get that guy off stage. Um, I was saying I was thinking about doing Super Mario World 100%. You guys interested in me attempting that? I don't know how long it'll take, and it'll probably be a lot of me getting frustrated with the harder levels. Because we might do that next after this.
do that and do a run through Donkey Kong Country. That'd be cool. All right. Well, that's what's next after Earthbound, then. Whenever we beat this, we'll do a 100% Super Mario World. And then just a casual run through Donkey Kong Country. Not going for 100 on that. But yeah, I've never I've never gotten 100% in Super Mario World before. So there's some things that I don't know. Oh, you want an autograph? I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. Uh, sure. Signed banana. Why a banana peel? Was there nothing better around? Alright, let me out. Oh, hi. Yeah, I was looking through some of the Super Nintendo games that I could stream after this. I'll probably do a Kirby game, too. Don't know which though, so. All right, dude, here's your banana. We well, don't have it on an eraser. Signed banana, signed banana, signed banana. Here. No doubt it. Tell you about something extraordinary. In the next room, there's a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, I found a huge monster rat. Not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go down there and check it out for yourself. You might call it a rodent of unusual size. Why is there also? Why is there just a manhole here? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. Let's do it. Filthy attack roach. I assume you might be able to poison me? 33, 31. Okay. You can deal decent damage, but not too strong. Yeah, another sewer. Gotta have your sewer level. Defense up by six, that's pretty good. Yeah, Pooh's just gonna be getting so many levels. Brain shock alpha. What's the uh, exact description on that? I know it's like an attack thing. Isn't it? Yeah, it makes one enemy feel strange. I don't know which way to go. That's blocked off. Hmm. If it's just roaches, I'm not too worried. Two roaches. God, Ness has, Ness has so much more HP than everyone else. It's so satisfying thinking back to what we had near the beginning of the game. And what we were doing. To the, the amount of damage and health... An experience we get from enemies now. When the first enemies we were fighting would give like one XP, and now we fight some roaches and get how much do we get from these roaches? Five thousand a piece. It's pretty nuts. It's a good sense of progression. So yeah, let's get in the gross water. This is sanitary. Oh, 
Hopefully no mutant alligators. Good old sewer gators. Ooh, is that a trash can? Is that an enemy trash can? It is. Stinky ghost! Uh, I, I should probably get rid of these guys quick. I don't want them to possess me or cause some kind of issue. Ooh. Okay, yeah, they didn't attack. Good. Oh, that didn't take them out? Oh, let's do fire again. Okay. Good fight. Pooh's 25. Oh, HP by 2. What a level. Great job, Pooh. Rat's down here somewhere. Kind of wish I had an exit mouse. For after we finish this. Oh, it just keeps going. There's a bunch of rooms, but I'm... Ooh, okay. Deadly mouse. We've gone beyond Rowdy, and we're up to Deadly. Uh... Yeah. How much health do they have? Poison! That sucks. Okay, we're gonna make need to make sure to heal up before we go fight the boss. So much. <laughs> One. That's insane that it can be like smash 170 damage and then the next hit. Yeah, one. Like you you just have to be prepared for the worst at all times. All right, we'll take out the mice. Jeff's level 39. Pooh's 26. Okay, uh, healing. Do we have any food? We have brain food lunch. Healed and recovered PP. Other than that, I think we just... What is Pooh's max HP? 183. Okay, he's good. So Jeff needs healing, and that's it. I used healing. Why did I do that? Life up. Because I said healing, so I went to healing. Okay. Should be good. You finally got here. This is the fifth... Your sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Yes, our sanctuary deep in the sewers. Plague Red of Doom! I kind of like him. I like his face. But he's also kind of unsettling. Okay. Just prepare mentally to probably immediately lose from some dumb smash attacks. Um, hmm. I'm just going to hit you to start with. Freeze Gamma. And we don't have any... Um, let's see if we can 
slime slime him up. So he loses some turns or something. 265. That's not bad. That's decent damage. Who's poisoned? Pooh? I really... Excuse me. I really want Pooh to be alive at the end so he can catch up in levels. <laughs> Felt like I was getting hiccups. Paula, you're the big damage dealer here. Ness needs to be healing. Should have brought a teddy bear. 207. That's decent. 14. That's useless. Okay. Freeze gamma. Jeff, use your HP sucker. Who freeze beta. 233. Didn't work. Okay, Paula is poisoned. I haven't been keeping track of how much damage I'm doing, but we're just going to keep on hitting them. Hitting them hard. Get rid of that poison. Keep doing that. We got plenty of psychic points. And slime them up. Oh yeah, Paula's faster than Ness, so she she's gonna take damage from the poison before Ness can heal her. Didn't work. I feel like this is going well. Big damage this turn. 228. Oh, I thought that said he was done. He solidified. We're getting lucky with him freezing from the ice attacks. Oh, hey, we did it. Wow. That was pretty lucky. 28,000 apiece. Paul is level 37. Fire Gamma. 38. Who's 27? Magnet Omega. That was a good level. Level 29. Nice. Two sanctuaries down tonight. That rat wasn't that bad at all. Ness saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Magnet Hill. Let's take a look. The giant step seems like it was so long ago. Wow! Carrot key. Special type of bunny's favorite carrot. Remember we had some uh, bunnies blocking our way earlier. Let's go back and give them, give it to them. See how they think about it. Are right, you don't want to fight no more? Maybe I want to fight you. Let's go. Oh. We're too strong for the... The uh, roaches. 
we gotta go all the way back to the sewers now, unfortunately. Alright, I'm feeling confident in exploring a little bit. What are we looking at? 45, 38, 39, 29. Oh, you guys are scared of me too? Nice. Broken bazooka. Cool. Get Jeff to fix that along with all the other crap he has. I'll fight you. Why not? Stinky ghost and deadly mouse. Probably just beat him. Maybe not. Well, mess can deal damage. Ooh, nice. Oh, Jeff. Why'd you get possessed? We're gonna have to go deal with that now. I should have just used some psychic stuff. Everyone's getting possessed now. Okay, he's gone. Ooh, poor Jeff. Okay. They're running from us, but they can still still rough us up a bit. Level 30. It's crazy how fast he can catch up. Oh, yeah, we're possessed. Ugh. What's in here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Rust Promoter DX. Guess we do have to get back in the, the gross water. At least for a bit. Okay, I don't want to fight you. Well, I guess we're fighting you. Uh, just, just get rid of them. Fire Gamma. Somehow they stayed alive after all that? There we go. Much better. Level 46. Almost halfway to max. Where's the next ladder? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, just a long walk back to the city. Through the goo. Yeah, don't want to fight you guys. Actively don't. There's so many of you though. I know there's other stuff in the way, so I'm just going to stay in the water until we get back to the actual exit. Oh, how I'd love to have an exit mouse right now. To just bypass all this. So yeah, we can head back to... Uh, Summers and take the boat across the water. Or we can go use that carrot key now. Can you guys, like, move? I guess not.
Fire Gamma. Sure. We need to go rest too. Nice. We're making pretty good progress so far. Nothing's been too bad. I wonder how much of a time difference there would have been so far if we hadn't picked fast text speed. What's the what's the overall difference? Probably significant. I pretty much always pick fast text speed when given the option. Picture time. Pictures taken instantaneously. Photographic genius. You ready for an instant memory? Look at the camera. Say, fuzzy pickles. But yeah, I pretty much always pick fast text because that's just an easy way to save time on stuff that doesn't need to be wasted on. Uh, hospitals up there, hotels down there. I believe we have to go to the hospital to be unpossessed. We also want to rest to replenish all our stats. Oh, 300 bucks? Jeez. That's fine. It's really not that much. And since we're back up to 41k again... Go ahead and grab some for the hospital, too. Oh, it's probably our dad. Considering the game thinks we haven't taken a break since I keep using uh, suspend points at the end of streams. Game's like, you've been playing for like 12 hours straight. Take a break. I'm also going to call Escargo Express and drop off some of this crap we don't need. Also, you didn't fix anything again, Jeff. Maybe we're just too dumb. I didn't mean to call Dad. I guess we'll save, though. Escargo Express. Uh, pick up. Awesome. Let's make our way to the hospital. Got 371 bucks. That should be enough, because it's... Paula and Jeff are both possessed. Hopefully it doesn't cost too much to unpossess here. Yep, 18 bucks for that. We don't need... I should sell the mummy wraps. Oh, Paula has a big bottle rocket. I need to give that to Jeff. We don't need the hieroglyph copy. We don't need... the pencil eraser. And... Yeah, that's good. Just that. Yep. Inventory is limited. Got to make space where you can. Hospital straight up ahead. Yep. Okay, I assume I need to talk to you about this. Yeah, I do. Purify. 80 bucks? Yeah. That's a bargain for an exorcism. Purify. Ah, uh, Jeff. 
All good. Let's warp. Uh, I'm try to do the straight one instead of the the circle. Nice. We haven't botched that yet. Down to the cave. Down here on the left. Yep, there they are. There's statues of rabbits blocking your way. Maybe the carrot key will help. How strange. The rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once. Sure. Oh god, what are you? Thundermite. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Uh, don't worry about it. Just don't think about it too much. Alright, I guess we'll just hit you and see what happens. Mm, please hit Paula with it. There we go. That's right. Paula has the, the Franklin on, so... Wish we could give everyone the Franklin badge. You just gotta hope it hits Paula. Hmm. Oh, it's another one. Is, is it the same enemy? Or they? that's just what they look like here? No. It's a Tengu. Okay. It's 80 damage. That's not too bad. Nice. It's an interesting enemy. They're worth a good amount of experience, too. It doesn't look like there's anything up there but enemies. Maybe there is, but we're going to keep going this way. Oh, that counts as an ambush? Oh, I disagree with that. Just beat them. Save the psychic points where we can. God, that hurts. Yeah, let's heal. Who boy. that cost eight yeah that's that's fine because i think that does 300 so that'll pretty much max out everyone but ness still and gamma is like full health regardless which is really good two of you Sure. Let's try fire on them, see what they think of that. Ooh, wow. That's pretty good. Oh, they almost didn't get a turn. Ness is just slow. Any speed boost we get, put it on Ness. Maybe we can hopefully get him fast enough to get an uh, early attack in. Pooh's level 32. Offense by 5, defense by 4. HP by 24. Pooh's getting the stats. Mm -mm -mm. Conducting Menace. 
in Tengu. I like this background. This is different than anything we've gotten like before. It's very bright. Sure. What's that cost? 20. Oof, that's so much. Bash. Oh. Maybe we should leave. Maybe we should leave. This is bad. Okay, Pooh's awake. But he's still paralyzed. Oof. What do we have that can... Give me some info here. Poison, nausea, feeling strange and uncontrollable, crying. Hmm. So we can't stop paralysis. Pooh's just paralyzed. Unless we have an item that stops it. Life noodles. There we go. Pooh's paralyzed, but we can make do. Do we have any other healing items? I don't think so. Just the caramels. Hold on. Give to Jeff. Pooh has a life noodle. His brain food lunch. Use on Paula. HP maxed out, 52 PP. Nice. Alright, you guys. We're back to good. Okay, same fight. Nine damage. Oh, I wanted the Tengu to die. Good. Before he did anything crazy to anyone. Alright, let's beat up this dude. I assume don't use thunder on the electric dude. Oh, Jeff! Okay, we're all good. God, that's so nice that they just stopped dying. A, a snake. Did they just give us a snake? Ooh, Life of Omega. It's some big numbers. Freeze, Gamma. Snake. When used during battle, it bites the enemy and disappears. May poison the enemy. Just carrying around a snake. Sure. Please have this. Bracer of Kings. Uh, we want... We can check what that is. Bracer of Kings to be equipable, equipped on Pooh's arm. 
protects from being hypnotized, and luck goes up. Of course, defense also goes up. So that's specifically for Pooh. Because Pooh doesn't get to equip normal items. He only gets these special things, like no weapons or anything. But Bracer of Kings, that'll increase our defense a good amount. Hopefully we can find all of his things. I believe his weapon he can equip is like a super rare drop from an enemy in the late game, though. So whether or not we get that is kind of up to luck. I'm not going to grind for it. Tengu's defeated. This might be overkill, but whatever. Ooh. Level 47. I just love how consistently you get levels in this game. It can get frustrating in some RPGs where, like, once you get to a certain point, it's forever between levels. But you just keep getting them consistently here. We got caramels. We can spend the psychic points. At least while paralyzed, Pooh can still use psychic stuff. Still can do something. Right, back to the entrance. Just wanting him? No problem. I might back out and heal since we have to go all the way back to the entrance anyway. Just to be safe. Who's 34? Because, yeah, like, here's the entrance, and that's the way forward is up there, I guess. I don't know if there's... We can rest... Back up in Pooh's castle... But I don't know if we can get rid of Pooh's paralysis. Picture time! Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. Instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready. Say. Fuzzy pickles. Alright, let's rest. Oh, well, you know, before we get uh, too comfy, how about another picture taken instantaneously? Look at the camera and say Fuzzy Pickles. Are we good? Hey, cool, it does fix poo. Awesome, totally worth coming up here. Plus, replenishing all our psychic points. Back to the cave. We've been making a ton of progress. I'm feeling it tonight. All right, let's go. I'm not worried about you guys anymore. Just beat on him. Perfect. It's all going good. Until it doesn't.
But don't worry about that. Thundermite. I'm more worried about the Tengu. I'll take damage. I don't want him to start putting people to sleep and stuff. Fine. It's just one of you. Shouldn't be a problem. Just beat him. Beat this cloud. Or not. Okay, Jeff got a hit in. That's something. As long as the Franklin badge deflects, doesn't really matter. There's so many enemies in this cave. Uh, yeah, just beat the Tengu. There. He's gone. Ooh, poor Poo. Oh, Poo. At least he has a lot of health, so when he takes a mortal blow, it takes a while now. Unlike at the beginning, where it's like you have 30 HP, so if you take a killing blow, you have no time. Alright, so there's a hole. We'll just jump in. Sudden Guts Pill. And a butterfly, so let's uh, let's do a little more healing. I think Ness could use it too. Yeah, three ninety six. Uh. Is it just like two enemies here? Oh yeah, these guys. So there's three enemy types in here. Yeah, sure, just smack them. That's fine. Good thing we have the Thunder ba uh, th Franklin badge on still. Yeah, we'll just beat him. If we don't miss. I did that and realized everyone's crying but Jeff. It worked out though. Jeff's level 42. Rock candy. When you eat this, it will increase either speed, guts, vitality, IQ, or luck. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Here comes another one. How's everyone doing? Everyone's pretty good. Everyone's pretty much at their max. Ness could use some healing. Paula's good. Jeff could use some. So Ness and Jeff.
objectives. HP are maxed out. Whew. Let's go. You finally got here. This is the sixth your sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Thunder and Storm. Oh yeah, we get some nice music. Not that we haven't been before. So these dudes, um, I guess I'm just we'll just hit them and see what kind of damage we can do. That's probably be the best thing to do. Oh, you can just go ahead and cast like freeze on them, I guess. See what kind of damage we get from that. Jeff, I don't realize what I just picked you to do. Big bottle rocket, big damage. Also do freeze. Here we go. Big damage. Let's do it. 416. 276. 363. Oh, yeah. We're destroying them. Franklin badge deflected. Oh, we just did like... Almost a thousand damage in one turn. That's pretty good. Let's do that again. Oh yeah, we don't have another bottle rocket. So, uh, you just shoot him, Jeff. Do your best. You tried. Bam! Holy shit. We didn't get touched, did we? Level 48. Offense up by 6. Paula's 42. Pooh's 36. And healing Gamma. And 37. We destroyed that boss. It's three down tonight. Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. As the sound still recorded the melody of Pink Cloud. Take a look. Only two more. So close. All right, let's get out of here. Will these guys run from me now, or do they still want to fight? Looks like they still want to fight. Maybe. Hard to tell. They just kind of go all over the place. They don't really have a front. Uh, let's just cast everything we got on them. We're going to rest before we leave. Take the extra XP. Uh, we can head back to Summers and take the boat across. Yeah, it looks like they're not attacking directly. This cave's pretty small, so it's not too bad to get out. Not like the sewers. I mean, it's such a fun, like, cool game. It's so unique. And so many games have taken inspiration from it over the years. I'm 
holds up visually too. It's just nice to look at. Thanks, old dude. Alright, uh, can we teleport in here? It's probably not a good idea. Let's walk outside. Yeah, you can't use it inside, so. Teleport. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a long enough stretch to get up to speed. Yeah, not at all. Let's do the circle. Let's get up here. I just picked the wrong thing. Stop. Poo. Beta. Summer. I picked winters. Why do I fumble in menus so much? It's awful. Summers. Now we're good. Alright, so we're all good. Wasted some psychic points doing that. Let's go over to the Sailor Man. He'll take us for a sail now. No problem here. Okay, yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, yeah, nothing we need to do here, but just go to the sailor. And get ready for another boss fight. Oh, hey! I was like, why do we stop moving? Uh, for a very important reason. It's time for a picture taken instantaneously. Get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, safe, fuzzy pickles. The fondest of memories. I might have to look at a list to see if we missed any of those. I think some of them are missable. Like, you can't go back. Some of them you can go back to the area and get at any point. You made my wife wake up. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Let's work hard. If you're courageous, get on this boat. You'll probably see the Kraken and experience getting seasick. After all, it can only cost you your life, and you got that for free. Luck will determine the outcome of this voyage. Say, so what do you want to set sail? 20 bucks per person. We're reckless, baby. Bon voyage. Let's do it. Time to sail. And let's fight that Kraken. Should also rest some, see if uh, Jeff can fix anything. He hasn't been. Wait! Need to stop the boat. It's been a long time since I was out in the open sea. I feel seasick. What am I going to do? A sailor who gets seasick? How come you guys are alright? So that, that bald guy over there, he's your buddy, right? He came from Dalam. You guys must be quite the adventurers. Feeling much better now. Anchors away! I've only been out on the sea, like actually on the sea in a ship once. And I didn't get seasick, but it was on a really big ship. I don't know if, I feel like it'd be more, it'd be like easier to get seasick on a smaller vessel. There he is. He just came out of nowhere. He's huge. Kraken blocked the way. 
just just a kraken. So, uh, let's let's try to paralyze him. I guess and if it doesn't work, we'll just keep beating on him. Freeze Gamma. We'll try the HP Sucker. I don't think we've ever got it to work right, but... Freeze Gamma. Who doesn't have that much Psychic Points, though? Use it on a boss, though. Nice. Became numb. Didn't work. Bash him. Well, you know what? Let's do that. Freeze. Two ten. Two thirteen. Yeah, he's gonna go down quick. 110. 35. Way to go, Jeff. Putting in the work. And there. He might go down this turn. Yep, there we go. Easy fight. Level 49. SNES Gamma. Paul is 43. Jeff's 43. Pooh's lagging behind, but that's okay. He's still putting in work. Oh, man. Thought you guys were just everyday little kids, but you defeated the Kraken. I also helped. I threw my slippers at the beast. Maybe you didn't notice. I noticed, man. We'll let people know. And we've made it. Let's see if they have anything good for sale before we do anything else. Oh, it's hot here, though. You come from Toto by ship. There's a scary monster in the sea. Did you beat him or did you escape? Either way, you are fantastic. Thanks, man. God, people are already dying of the heat. Uh, Paula. So this is the hospital. Hospital, hotel, shop is on the right. So let's go check that out before we head down to the pyramid. It's on shop. Dollars acceptable. Welcome, welcome. Is your body okay? Interesting in some of my merchandise. Uh, none of that, really. A banana. <coughs> Excuse me. Sell. The mummy wraps we've been carrying for a while now. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. I'm ready for a third. I always sneeze multiple times in a row. I just how it is. Uh, no, we're good. May you never find rocks in your sandals. Alright, what about these guys? What do you guys got? I'm Red Snake, come in. Kiss the fire, armpit hair fertilizer. What is it you want to buy? Snake, viper, or vial of serum? 
A mark of bad luck on your face. Don't worry. If you want to know, I'll humbly tell you. You shall come back here after you encountered a dangerous situation. I may be wrong, and if so, a thousand pardons. Would you like some seasonings? Not really. I just don't like using up inventory space. Hey, Pokemon Hacker. What's up? The snake bag can hold live snakes. There are snakes in the sack. Do we want a snake sack? I don't like the sound of that. Variety of things. Food. Bunch of food. Uh, nah, we're good. We have enough that we can just heal with spells. Crystal charm. Peaky nose. I do. Oh, I need cash. I forgot to grab cash. Oh, but we get a pic picture, though. That's what's important. Uh, where can we get to an ATM? Picture's taken instantaneously. Get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say. Fuzzy pickles. I don't think the shop had one, but the hotel might? Yeah, here we go. Uh, we might as well rest while we're at it. 60 grand. Oh, your connection's failing? That sucks. Even my Wi-Fi does that sometimes, so I always make sure to be uh, wired up as much as I can. Uh, yes, stay, please. But yeah, I saw you there, Pokemon Hacker. Don't talk too loud. What do you want? Bomb, super bomb, bottle rocket. Big bottle rocket! Jeff is. Nope. I do want to sell, though. Do we have anything we can sell? Anything else? We have a bunch of just garbage. Yeah, I'll sell you that beetle for four bucks. We just pick up so much junk I'm never going to use. Like, the fights go well enough just using normal stuff without using items. I'll sell you a snake. 110 bucks? Sure. Your day was tiring, honestly. Well, that sucks. I hope you can get a, a good rest for the for tomorrow. I had a pretty decent day. Nothing special. But decent. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Let's roll out of here. Back to the store, buy some stuff for Paula, and head down to the pyramid. Oh, this is the wrong shop. I already talked to you, I just want to buy stuff from you. Crystal charm for Paula. Equip it. It made a difference of one. What a waste of money. Yeah. I want the piggy nose. Ness can have the piggy nose. No, that's all. What a waste of money. If you're going to the pyramid, prepare well and be ready for whatever may occur. I'm prepared. I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, there's Hint Man. Let's talk to him. He's going to give you a great hint for a hundred bucks. Yeah, sure. We got cash. After you made all the necessary preparations, go to the pyramid. In front of the pyramid, writing on the hieroglyph told, step on the round so stone plates in front of the Sphinx and draw a star. That was really too much info to give out as a hint, wasn't it? That's it for today. 
Where is... There's Pyramid. Draw a star. So, like... Are you a thief, a warrior, or one who has come to see my majesty? You must decide what you really are. Therefore, what will you do? Ooh. Is that wrong? I'll fight you. I don't know the exact order. High class UFO. Oh, let's just bash it with a bat. 58's not too bad. We can take 58 damage. Oh, shield disappeared. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. And... No? Not quite. Maybe I shouldn't have put away our hieroglyph recording. I might have to go pick that up to remind myself. It's a great crested Buka in the Dread Scalpion. Let's beat up that Buka. The Buka looks like something out of a Dr. Seuss book, honestly. Yeah, just keep beating him. Can't imagine he has too much HP. Oh, 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 oh. Well, well, Pooh's gonna die. Well, damn. That's a real shame. Oh, we have to go back up to the hospital anyway now. And we'll call on the phone for uh, Escargo to come bring us thing we put away. So what are those? Or are thirsty? It's expensive though. Water, 200 bucks. Well, you'll die by dehydration, I'm warning you. $200 water. I've never bought one of those, like, expensive, fancy waters. Like the, like, Fiji water and stuff. Never had one of those. And I'm fine with that. Water is water. Oh, there's so many UFOs in the desert. Who's dying? Oh, Jeff's poisoned. That's what it is. Let's not let Jeff die of his poison. Sorry, Jeff. Okay, I have a good amount of... cash. So I should be able to just go into the hospital and revive Poof. No problem. Which is up above. This one? Yep. Pooh. 200 bucks. Really not that bad. The, the hospital costs don't ramp up too much. Oh yeah, we want to go in the hotel. Call Escargo Express. Need a delivery. I want... A copy of the hieroglyph. Nope, that's it. And we'll just wait for that. Mm -mm -mm. There he is. Where did you come from? You came from further into the building. 
18 bucks, yep. Yeah, we'll stay. Let's check it out. Hieroglyph copy. Yep. Invaders hide. Place the, uh, the dark, the deep dark. Hawkeye, Sphinx. Four, three, two, five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can read it again if we need to. Back to the Sphinx. One. Two. Okay. That's a very, like, Mario 64 sounding. Like, getting the red coins. Search for the Hawkeye. Nice. In we go. Oh, but first... So many pictures. Pictures taken instantaneously, that is... Get ready for an instant memory. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Fondest of memories. Pyramid. Okay. No problem here. What do we got? What are we fighting in here? Arachnid! A and B. It's got three exclamation points. It's serious. Oh, I feel like they could probably pause in me. Pause and poison me. Why are there so many picture points? Picture points? Yeah, that arachnid can poison us, so let's deal with that. Uh, Jeff. Oh, picture points. Okay, I was confused. I was like, a picture point? Um... Yeah, it's just, there's a lot more than I remembered. Sorry, I, like, picture points made me think of, like, a specific thing, not just a point where you take your picture. It threw me off. Sorry about that. Uh, they're just, just a lot. I, we probably missed some. Here, let me see if I can see how many there actually are. By the way, we're fighting, uh, uh just hieroglyphics. Um, let's beat him. They'll come into play later, though. Pooh's got a cold! There are... 32 points. And only three of them are mandatory. So yeah. I don't know how many we've had, but we've probably got quite a few now. There's no re no way to actually see which ones you've gotten unless you just remember. At least until the end of the game, that is. So yeah. There's only we've definitely gotten most of them. Who got over the cold? 
There's a viper inside. Ta-da! Vipers! Open your mailbox. Poisonous vipers. Surprise! Is this just a mummy? Fierce Shattered Man. Okay. Wow, that's it? Easy. 4,000 a piece. And a mummy wrap that I don't, don't want. I'll sell it. At least this area is pretty straightforward. Lethal Asp Hieroglyph. Hieroglyph. Wow, it's got a good amount of uh, HP. Oh, not Ness. He's the big damage dealer. Well, that's fine. I'm worried by how smooth things have been going tonight. We had so much trouble last night. We've had no issues. Like, knock on wood. I feel like we're going to hit an area where it's just going to destroy us like the department store. Bam. Paul is level 44. Defense, offense up by four. Sorry. IQ up by 3, HP by 10, Poo's 39. Uh, sure. There's such a variety of places you go in this game. Like, so much of the early part is just ta normal towns and stuff. Then you get all the weird places like Moonside and Saturn Valley, and now we're just in a pyramid fighting hieroglyphs. Oh, no, I want to get rid of the, uh, the arachnid. There. Hopefully we won't get poisoned. Ooh, Ness caught a cold. And poisoned. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Ness needs to deal with that. Nice. Keep good old Franklin badge. Keep that forever. Such a good item you get so early on. Offense up by four. HP by nine. Which is nice, but sometimes you see those levels where it's like 40 HP. Casket seems a little suspicious. Ooh. I guess I'll fight you. Can't really avoid you. Uh, yeah, just beat him. We haven't really had any regular enemies that have been a problem. Paul's got a cold. So let's fix that. Like, a cold is such a non-problem at this point. Hey there, Scholar. What's up? It's weird that these enemies don't seem to be attacking in groups. Like, even if two are right next to each other, it's only one at a time. It just makes it take longer. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't want to fight you. So many snakes. Sorry, what? Petrified Royal Guard. He's quite burly. Uh, let's do... Let's try that out. 40, maybe we won't. back from the Travis Scott live event in Fortnite. Cool. It's been a while since I touched Fortnite. And hopefully this guy dies before he can do anything awful. 87 damage. That's not too bad. It still hurts though. Shoot the snake. How much health do you have, dude? Uh, recover... Jeff. There we go. A lot of health, but not too much damage output on him. Ta-da! Bag of Dragonite. Wow, we have two now. We still haven't used the first one. And knowing how I play games, we're going to end up beating the game without it. Well, without it being used, that is. I just can't bring myself to use items like that. If I can't just buy more of them or make more of them, I feel bad using them. Until I think I'm on the final boss, at least. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. God, there's so many dudes in here. None of them are really a problem, though. Yeah, four damage. Nothing. Compared to poison, that can do like 20. Let's cure it, though. Still, don't want to have it. Keep beating them. Like, I would run, but I want the experience. No reason not to. Don't want to end up being weak later on. Level 40. Offense up by 6, defense up by 4. Uh, who's sick? Jeff again. You gotta stop that, Jeff. These all items? Speed capsule. I'm gonna shove that down Ness's throat. He needs it. He needs that speed. It's only about by one, but he's slow. <laughs> he's the slowest by a bit. Okay, you again. Uh, I guess let's focus on the, the asp. For now. Get it down to one enemy. One oh four. Nice. 
Shriek the War Cry. Ooh, debuffs. Ooh, 183 to Ness? Jeez. I probably would have killed anyone else. I definitely would have killed anyone else. Paul is 45. Getting up there. Couple life noodles. Glad we're just finding a bunch of those now. And we can go buy the herbs. The secret herbs. Special herbs. Whatever it's called. The seven herbs and spices. Of Colonel Sanders. Uh, Yeah, let's heal everyone. Just everyone take a turn healing. God, she only has 166 HP. She's so weak. And this is at 402. Yeah, Pooh has 270. Yeah, so Pooh could use another heal. Heal yourself. I didn't even see that enemy there. They blend in when they're against the wall. I guess that's kind of the point. Three thousand apiece. God, more snakes. There's there's too many enemies. Too many of these snakes and hieroglyphs. There's like no way to avoid them. That's the thing. Because you're just walking in a straight line. Long stairs. Alright. What do we got? Boss fight? Guardian general. Uh, alright. Let's just... Let's lay into him. We'll finally cast Sness uh, Gamma for 40 psychic points. That's so much. Freeze. Jeff, just shoot him. I don't, I don't want you to waste the big bottle rocket just yet. I think we can do enough damage with just this. 218... One. Why even bother? Should have just defended. 225. 64 damage to Ness. And then Ness to Ness Gamma. Fancy. Didn't work. What a waste. What a massive waste. You know what, Jeff? Just defend. Honestly. Pooh and Paula can handle it themselves. Freeze Gamma's so good. We haven't really had a boss that I didn't work against well. We beat him. That was easy. He had way less health than the stuff we've been fighting. Level 51. Pooh's 41. It's getting close to everyone else. Thunder Gamma. Oh, wow. There's a lot of dudes in here. Uh, jeez. Freeze. Just keep doing some freeze, I guess. Not enough. Well, freeze beta. I'm feeling confident. I'm ready to be shot down by something. Some boss or some room of enemies is going to hit us hard. I just know it. It's bound to happen. Just beat on him. Oh, 
Come on, Ness. I just don't want to waste psychic points. Alright, you two. The, what is it? Shattered Band. Yeah, I couldn't remember what the mummies were called. Uh, let's go with that. Shoot the Shattered Man. There. It's a weird feeling not being worried at all. Way more laid back. healing items though so I did just think about that we got to be careful Ness is the only one that can really do damage to this guy you have one damage it's also because Pooh has no weapon equipped Paul's 46 Freeze Omega. Rain Pendant. No! Damn it. I'll have to see what that can do. Or if that's just a straight defense buff. He took himself out. Let's see. Pooh took that. Must be equipped on your body. Protects you from freeze attacks. Uh, who has low defense? Ness. Paula's 107. Both Pooh and Paula have low defense. Does that help Paula at all? Well, Pooh can't equip it. Or can he? Oh, he can. Okay. Someone must have stepped on a switch. It sounded like something up above is moving. Good thing we cleared all these dudes out. Oh, these guys are still here. I might run from them. Or at least try to. And did? That's a shame. I just kind of want to leave them. Oh, Pooh's dying. Oh, thank God. I was super worried for a second. How much does he have? 271. That's pretty good. He's catching up to Ness. Oh, more snakes. Asps. Sorry. I'll beat on him because he has low HP. Oh, God. We'll heat him back. Smash attacks are no joke, dude. It's like, yeah, they're going to deal 10 times damage when you land a crit. Butterfly! I actually really need it this time. Alright, I'll fight you. Uh, God, we don't have a lot. We 
there. Jeff couldn't move. That's fine. Just don't poison us. Ness. Your accuracy is the worst. I ah, don't hit Jeff. Yeah, Paula's still cold. There you go, Paula. Something on the platform. Do you want to get it? Yeah. Pooh got the Hawkeye. Leave. Okay. I wanted to squeeze by him. Okay, I'm tired of fighting these dudes, in all honesty. I got nothing more to say to them. I'm sick of having to heal colds. This pyramid's taking a while to get through. A Pharaoh's Curse. Level 52. Offense up by 6. It's maximum HP up by 30. There's a butterfly in here. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go down the hole. Right into a fight. Okay, this isn't too bad. Do 28. That's so much. Do, 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 do. do we have anything? Big bottle rocket. Yeah. There. Just normal enemies, nothing to worry about. Bash him. You missed so much. Pooh! Just did 339 damage? That's insane. And somehow we're still alive. That's pretty lucky. Get out of there. Oh my god, so many enemies. I'm sick of it. Like, I'm just out of psychic points. Not dying, because they're not hard by any means. There's just a ton of them. I just want to get out of here. Just keep wailing on them. There. Can we please get out of this pyramid? Who's getting hurt? Oh yeah, Jeff has a cold. We can fix that. Ness is fully out. Okay, one more snake. I'm gonna say it's one more snake and hope that's the exit door. I'll be very upset if I have to fight another one. I feel like they should just be running from me now. At least the hieroglyphs, they don't stand a chance. We made it. 
Well done, you've made it. We finally meet Prince Pooh. Stars were told I would meet you here. So now it's time to show you the way of the star storm. For a while, you must live far away from your friends and live with me. Do you understand? There's only one answer. I must stop you here, even if you don't want to. Stay with me for a while. Do you understand? It's important that I study and learn the star storm. I'll be most. It will be most helpful to us. Once I learn it, I'll meet up with you, Ness. Trust me. I'll see you again. Depends on Pooh's efforts. That will determine the reuniting of the group. Be faithful and wait until the time comes. And there goes Pooh. We lose him for a little bit. Okay, we're way down here. Did Pooh have anything really good on him? I hope not. I don't think he had much at all in his inventory, honestly. Just like some healing items. I'm not sure if it was the dungeon man, but... There's a strange looking tower to the northwest. This keep I picked up a little while ago shall uh, maybe open the tower. You may have it. I do not need it, but it seems that you have too many things. Well, damn it. Good thing he healed us up too. That was nice. All right, I'll throw away this viper. Just let him let him go free. Dungeon Man. Key to the tower. Dad. Oh no, sorry to bother you, Big Boy. This is the Scarlet Express. I had a phone call from a friend of yours recently. Asked me to hold on to the Hawkeye for you. Do you know anything about this? Oh, okay, it's because Pooh had it, so they just automatically put it in Escargo Express. Deliver it to you anytime you want. Glad I could help out. Click. That's nice. So you can't actually be screwed. Marauder Octobot and High Class UFO. Yeah, this is what I expect to fight in the desert, don't you? I mean, UFO, sure. <laughs> An Octobot. A beam. Just a normal old beam. Okay, Octobot's down. Right, I just want to talk to this other dude. Since I'm dealing some pretty rough stuff, I can't run my business in town. Uh, ooh, French fry pan. I don't have enough cash. Crusher beam. Multi-bottle rocket. Bazooka. Beef jerky and secret herb. Anything we can sell? I kind of wish I'd sold that snake to him. The viper. Anything else we can sell? Mommy wrap. And that's it. I'll buy the French fry pan. Paula can have it. 96 to 116. That's pretty good. We've had the chef's fry pan for a while. Anyone have sunstroke? No. Okay. So, yeah. Let's get to uh, walking around the desert, I guess. Mm. More view. Uh, yeah, we'll just beat on you. Either of you seem too dangerous. Oh, he tried to steal something. Nah, we're not having that. 
Not allowed. Two forty-eight. I hate enemies that steal from you. Even if they just steal a generic item, it's like that's gone. I want it. Looks like you could enter, but it's locked. Hey, it's uh, it's Dungeon Man. Use. Paul used the key to a tower. The key opened the door. The the door. Sure. Ooh. You were inside of my body. Brick Road. Good old Brick Road. He said he wanted to be a dungeon. Let's go. My statistics show about 70% of people go to the right first. Brick Road. See, now... That messes with my head. Keep this board in mind. Brick Road. Well, then I'm going to go to the left first. Oh, good thing we did. Dungeon owner's obligation to hire a doctor and nurse. Brick Road. If you check into this bench, it's just like checking into a hotel. Brick Road. Good night, bench. May you relax and recover your health. Nice. Free healing. Uh, let's call mom. Sounds like you're calling from the moon or something. If you're doing okay, that's great. I have to get going. I'm trying to give uh, Flays a flea bath. I had forgotten about our doggo. Alright, everyone's decent. What are you? Oh, two of you. Oh, it's you. These guys... Okay, let's see, let's see how much of a not problem they are now. God, that's almost upsetting. Those things destroyed us last night when we had to fight them in the department store. And now they're nothing. They're just fodder. Like, it feels great, but it's also like, ugh. Okay, I also want to call Dad. Uh, record. Continue. Alright. So, this is, a uh, definitely probably one of the bigger dungeons in the game. I'm going to call it a little early tonight. And, uh, we'll pick up here and do this dungeon next time. There's really not too much game left either. I don't know if we'll be able to beat it in one more stream. Maybe one long stream. Maybe. We'll see. But for now. For now, we're going to wrap it up here. 13 hours and 40 minutes in. And that's mainly because... I... I remember this dungeon being long. Good old dungeon man. And I don't plan on running long tonight. I was just planning for a normal length stream. But yeah, maybe tomorrow we'll do a longer stream to try to beat it. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll try to beat this tomorrow. If not, that's fine. We'll be very close to the end if we don't. And we'll jump into Super Mario World after we beat this. So, thanks again. And I'll see you all next time. Good night.